Hi everyone, Ben and Matt here from Model Flight, and today we are very lucky to be showing you the brand new Q500 4K from Unique. So Matt, what's included in the box? So here we go guys, we've got the Q500 with all its components out of the box. Obviously first we've got the Q500 4K, secondly we've got this little lens protector, this goes over the ST10 transmitter to stop glare from uh, the sun whilst you're looking into the screen. This white thing here is the motor clamp. So this clamps onto the motor when you're refitting spare or additional propellers. Here we've got four spare propellers. Um, they just come as a complementary thing. The charger, this is obviously 240 volt with a power supply. Um, this charger here has a, a balancing charge on the bottom of it and that'll charge up all the batteries that come with the Q500. Obviously the ST10 transmitter. So this one here is a, a different color to the original one. So we'll go through some of the features on this one here in a minute. Got the steady grip. So as, as you may have seen before, the steady grip is the bit that holds onto the camera when you're doing manual photography. This one, this package here that we're looking at comes with two batteries. They're the 5400 milliamp 3S. Also for the charger and accessory, we've got a 12 volt um, cigarette lighter adapter. So you can use this from the car whilst you're out at the field or filming or something like that. And of course, right at the end here, we've got the aluminum carry case. So you can you talk about some of the design features of the Q500 4K? Um, this particular version here has new propellers. So these are like a carbon fiber reinforced propeller as well. So a lot stronger than the original version. Um, as you can see, it's a new color scheme over the, the original as it's gunmetal gray. Um, it's fairly attractive in its design. So again, we've got a fairly slender sort of nose making it, I suppose, aerodynamic for flight and stuff like that. Um, Tall landing gear to give the camera clearance from the ground. It's got little feet, like absorbing feet as well, to make that softer on landings and stuff like that. And if we look at the back of it, we've also got a quick release battery bay. So you just flick that down and you can pull the battery straight out of the back and then pop that back in uh, for quick and easy release of the battery. And what about the new Seago 3 camera? So one of the most eagerly anticipated upgrades to this particular quad is the new Seago 3 camera in 4K. So we're looking at on the bottom here, this here, again, the resolution will be 4K. It has a digital video downlink as opposed to the old analog uh, downlink. Again, you can see we're on a gimbal here. So this is an integrated gimbal where all the motors are, I suppose, neatly tucked away. Um, this keeps them free of debris and dirt and things like that. Keep it safe, keep it tidy, makes it look really good as well. Um, so we've got pitch, we've got uh, like a roll axis and also yaw. So this takes out a lot of the vibration, a lot of the, let's say, adverse flight conditions when you're flying to make the footage really, really stable and smooth. And also the rubber dampness have been upgraded a little bit over the last one. So this here will take out all those really small vibrations and make it really, really good, good quality footage um, as a raw material. Okay, the new Seago 3. Again, this here will be a full HD camera at 1080p, 120 frames per second. This will give you really good slow-mos in full HD uh, or Ultra HD 4K, you've got 30 frames per second. So that'll give you your best quality footage. Um, frame rates are a little bit down, um, but that's still fine for, I suppose, this type of application. Um, it's a three axis uh, stabilized camera. Um, Unique have spent a lot of time working on the color balance and making sure the colors look as natural as possible. So you'll see that here in this video um, of how natural the colors look. The lens on this camera here is also a non-distortion lens. So rather than having a fisheye style lens where your horizon would be bent, um, this one here will take that out and make sure you get a nice flat horizon. Now you mentioned earlier about the steady grip, which is included with the package, which allows you to film on the ground as well as in the sky. So how does that work with the Q500? Yep, so this one here, again included, this uses a smartphone that clips into this device here and you would use this as a standalone sort of ground recording device to hold the um, 4K camera manually. So you would unclip the 4K camera from the Q500 uh, and then the little wire at the bottom as well. And then this here goes onto the steady grip. And you plug the wire back in. And you've got a manual essentially controller for the camera if you're doing, say, ground footage or manual footage. Now, if you don't want to use your mobile phone with the Q500, of course, Unique have included the ST10 transmitter with their wide screen. So can you go into some more details about the functions of this transmitter? Okay, so here we have the ST10. Again, you can see this is a new gunmetal gray color scheme, so it looks quite nice. Firstly, we'll look at the primary flight controls. Now, although this, is, this can be set up in any mode that you prefer, um, all the sticks center, so the throttle also centers. 
Uh, and this is also for AP mode where if you let go of the throttle stick, it'll maintain that particular altitude. So we've got our trim switches on the bottom here, power switch of course, engine start and stop. So we're holding this one down to start, hold it down to stop. We've got still photos on this one here, start and stop recording on this button here. We've got our flight mode switch, which we'll go through in one second. On the right hand side of the transmitter, we've got the speed. So this adjusts it from uh, slow to fast. It is electronically limited. I'll talk about that in a minute. And also on the left hand side, we've got the camera control. So this is the gimbal control from, or the tilt on the gimbal from level to 90 degrees facing down toward the ground. Okay, so on screen, up the top here, we've got our mode. At the moment, we're just saying ready. GPS acquiring, we're inside at the moment, so we haven't picked up enough GPS to give us that information at the moment, but obviously outside you would see that. This particular satellite here with the number tells me how many satellites we currently have on the transmitter. The position is the position of the Q500. On this side here up the top, we've got the six satellites for the actual Q500 itself. So when we get above six, that opens up particular flight modes that we can go into. The volts of the quadcopter, so this is again live telemetry, altitude of the quadcopter, uh, this is in feet at the moment, I think you can change this to meters, uh, GPS speed, so that will give you speed in miles or kilometers an hour, and distance, at the moment it says NA, but that there is the distance from the Q500 to the transmitter. Okay, so again the Q500 4K, this comes with six flight modes. So the first three, again you can see on the switch, we've got smart, angle and home. Return to home is dynamic, so that'll return to home within eight meters of the transmitter. So as where previous quadcopters that we've sold will only return to home where they took off from, this particular one here will come back to wherever the transmitter is. Um, angle mode gives you a limited amount of angle. It also limits the speed of the Q500. We've got smart mode up here, which is stick relativity. In smart mode, if we get more than six GPS on the quad, we can go into follow me mode. So that becomes another mode and that will follow the transmitter wherever it moves. So in addition to that particular one there, we've got watch me, which is this button here. We do need a few more uh, GPSs to get that particular feature. At the moment, we've only got four on the transmitter, but watch me when that's activated, that'll maintain the camera looking at the transmitter no matter where it is relative to the Q500. So also at the bottom here, we can adjust the GPS on or off. So you can fly this in manual mode with the GPS off. You'd be clicking that button there. Um, in this particular menu as well, we can also adjust the camera settings. So at the moment we've got video settings. Uh, we're in full 4K HD, which you can see up here and you can change that. Audio on the camera can be turned on or off. Image style, so depending on the day, whether it's a darker day or a lighter day, you can, I suppose, play around with these settings to get the best result. Uh, resetting the camera back to its factory default settings and right at the bottom here we've got the GPS on and off so if we were to turn that off we can fly in full manual mode on the Q500 uh, that's not speed limited either so you can go a lot faster and right at the bottom we've got um, the GPS calibration. Now Matt you mentioned earlier about how there is an app that can be downloaded across multiple devices to work with the Seago 3 camera so how many devices can work with the camera at one time and can you go into some more detail about these apps? So again, this one here is unlimited. You can put as many, let's say, separate devices as you like, whether it be a tablet or a phone. It can be Android, it can be Apple. There's no problem at all doing that. Um, the unique Seago 3 app will be downloaded from the Google Play Store or the Apple uh, Store. Um, in addition to the ST10, the tablet or phone will give you a little bit of extra options to, to set up the camera. So like before with the ST10, we've got our settings as you can go through on the ST10 menu. But in addition to that, we've also got our white balance. You've got pre-selects for the white balance here, and you can go through them. We've got an auto, and then depending on what settings you need to, to work with there. So that one there, and we've also got the ISO and also shutter speed settings. So these here can be changed. These can also be changed when the camera is recording. So let's say someone's flying with the ST10 using the live video. Someone else or a separate operator could be on the tablet or phone making adjustments whilst flying, and this is live. If you'd like to see some actual footage captured by the Seago 3 camera in the air, please stay for a short snippet after this film. And if you guys would like more information on the unique Q500 4K, please click on the link just here. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and if you'd like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.